Hey guys, I do always help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.4 and some of the latest bugs and issues reported with FaceTime calls not delivering for older platforms, older devices. And we'll go over some of the details in this video. I also want to give you guys my follow up on iOS 13.4.5 beta one release yesterday. I want to share some numbers in terms of performance as well as share some of the latest features discovered with the software. So first let's talk about 13.4. Many Apple users over on Apple Forms are reporting FaceTime calls, audio, and video failing to deliver on older devices. So if you have an older iPad or an older iPhone laying around the house that you use for FaceTime and you attempt to make a call from the latest 13.4 to those older devices running older versions of iOS, it may fail to deliver the call. So let me go ahead and run a quick example here. So this FaceTime audio, these devices that are connected to the same Apple ID, the new device, the incoming call comes in, the older device sometimes a major delay or it doesn't come in at all. As you can see there again, audio facetime newer device comes in older device nothing happens or there's a major delay so on the latest 13.4 if you have any issues with facetime audio and facetime video the cause not delivering then you're not alone again i'll link this down below many apple users are reporting this issue on the latest 13.4 so now let's head on over to 13.4.5 beta one apple released the software yesterday first i want to talk about some of the latest numbers in terms of performance everything is running very good i did run a benchmark here so you can see 13.4.5 single core score 5475 and on the previous the public release 13.4 is going to be 5455 so slight increase in single core performance from 13.4 to 13.4.5 but on the multi-core score department there's a slight decrease with 13 905 and 13 830 so numbers are looking pretty equal here nothing major these benchmarks do not tell the entire story but sometimes they do tell part of the story in terms of performance everything is relatively relatively running very very well for the latest beta now let's talk about some of the latest features if you have the instagram application and facebook application installed on your iphone and you're listening to music in apple music you can now click on the share options and create a story over to instagram as well as facebook directly within the music application on your iphone so as you can see here you get this new layout here this platter that you can move around and customize and share a story based on the music that you're listening to again this also works with facebook as well but you must have the apps installed on your iPhone for this to work directly from the music app. So here we go, there it is. Now you can create new stories. Just a minor simple feature on the latest 13.4.5, but it is something new. That's just the latest update on 13.4 issues in 13.4.5 beta one, some of the latest information. Thank you for watching, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.